Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So, to get started, you want to find a good reference picture. And then, we're going to take our plaster cast head form. And if you've seen my other videos, you know this process pretty easy by now. You're going to wrap your plaster head in your cling wrap. And you just don't have to go crazy here. Just put a few wraps around it. Just kind of smooth it out. Then you're going to spray it with water. Don't be afraid to use water because that will help when you take your mask off. So then we just start laying our foam. And again, get yourself a good reference picture. Just so you kind of know how you're going to lay out your foam. Now the clicker actually has a bunch of the fungi that's growing. So what I'm trying to do here is look at the reference picture and kind of figure out how I'm going to lay out all of that fungi growth. But at the same time, since the clicker doesn't have eyes, I'm trying to be careful when I go around the eyes, because I actually just want some small slits so I'll actually be able to see out of the mask, because, well, vision's kind of important. Now, as far as for this mask, if you've seen my other videos, you know we usually carry it down a little further. But since the clicker has a unique shape, all I'm doing here is just putting it about halfway down the back of the head. And then, again, spray it with water. And you're going to let that set for about five minutes. So what I'm doing here is I'm starting to make the teeth. Now the teeth, just use hot glue and just lay out some patterns. The white you see is just some old fabric glue I had in my glue gun. So now, after a skin is formed on the foam, what I'm doing is starting to lay in the ridges in between the fungi growth. And I'm also trying to make it to where my eye is just going to have a, not a very tiny slit, but a good slit so I can see out of the eyes. But again, we want to give that illusion that the clicker doesn't have eyes. So again, get yourself a good reference picture and just look at it. And again, like I've told you before, really just take your time. You've got about 10 to 15 minutes of working time with your phone. So you really don't have to rush. Now what I'm doing is just kind of squeezing the foam between my fingers make those ridges and again like I've said many 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 times take your time now what you're seeing me do there is in the middle of the clicker's face he actually has kind of a deep ridge so that's really all I'm doing there. You can kind of see it starting to take some shape. So here's a kind of a trick or a tip if you will. To get your mask off of your plaster cast head form, do it while it's still pliable. In other words, not before it gets fully cured and hard. And then take your plastic out. Now take your plastic out easy, because if you just rip it out, you're actually going to rip your foam. And then what I do is just put the mask back on the head form, and I don't squeeze it, but I try to leave it a little bit loose. This just helps when you put it on yourself. So here you can kind of see what I've done. I've just made those ridges and then I'm going to put it back on. So 
So now I'm going to add a second layer of foam because I want to build up certain areas. So really look at your reference picture and kind of figure out where you kind of want your bulky areas to lay. And you can kind of see how I do it here. Now, what I'm doing here is I actually want to add some single growth areas. So I'm just kind of making, if you will, some leaf shapes. And once those set up a little bit, I'm going to use my fingers and just kind of press them out. This will just kind of give your mask a little more detail. And that was me adjusting the camera. Never mind my face. So what I'm doing here is I'm making the gums for the teeth. And all I did was just use a scrap piece of the foam that I had sprayed out. Now, if you look at the clicker, he actually has his gum split in the front. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just kind of making a wing shape, if you will. And I may cut this in half later, just kind of depending on how I want it to look. So the second layer of foam is kind of mostly cured at this point. So again, I'm going back through and just really adding in a lot of the deep recesses or the ridges, if you will. And you'll notice I'm constantly looking at my reference picture. So I kind of like the shape that it's come out, and I'll show you here. But you see how it's kind of got that deep recesses and those ridges? And that's what really makes the clicker stand out. Because if you know anything about a clicker, it's basically a fungi growth. And you'll see me try it on here. Now I'm going to check to see how my teeth are going to lay. And I think that's going to be pretty good. And I've got just enough of a slit that I can see out of the eye holes. No problem. So let's work on the teeth at this point. So I did wind up cutting the piece in half, the little wing shaped piece you saw earlier. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm using those leaf shapes that I talked about earlier, and this is going to give some extra dimension to the top of the head. And all I did was just use my fingers and just kind of made them into ridge shapes. Now, here you can see the teeth that I made. And these are the pieces I was talking about, the added leaf shapes. So here's the mask before I add anything, and you're going to see me add the extra leaf growth shapes here. And all I do is use hot glue, press it for a few seconds, and you're done. Very quick, very easy. And I'm constantly looking at my reference picture. So now here, I'm going to glue in the gums. But before I glue them to the mask, I'm going to add the teeth. Now I've got about four teeth on each side. And all I did was just lay a line of glue and press the teeth down. Now I added some glue to the top and I'm just kind of gauging how I want it to lay. 
and you'll see me put them in here. Again, pretty quick and easy. So what I'm doing here is I'm just using a craft stick and kind of spreading the glue a little bit to give the gums a little extra dimension. So I'm gluing in the second piece here. And again, just using the craft stick. And I trimmed off just a little detail there in the middle. And then I'm adding some more glue. This adds stability, but it also gives the gums a lot of dimension. So here, you can kind of see how it looks. It's already kind of starting to look a little creepy. But you can kind of see the eye holes that I were, had been mentioning earlier. All I'm doing here is just kind of peeling off the stringy parts of the glue that's left over. And I'm going to test fit it just to kind of see how the teeth lay. And I actually like that. So here you can kind of see it before we start painting. Now, I did trim up a little bit there on the gums. So with all of that done, we're going to move on to the painting process. Now, again, like in my other videos, I make the painting process pretty quick and easy. Instead of using an airbrush like I used to do, I have switched and just used spray paint. It's just faster and quicker, and you get the same effect. So here, I'm just misting on some black more into the recessed areas. And then I switch to a dark beige and just kind of lightly mist the whole mask here and there. Now I switch to a sand color and I'm really just again misting just some areas around the mask. I'm not covering the whole mask. And all I did there was just take some black and just kind of go back and hit the recessed areas lightly. So here you can kind of see how the mask came out after spray painting. And I kind of like how that came out. So here, after it's dried for about 15 minutes, this is what we've got. So you can see the dark areas are really recessed. And the ridge areas just really stand out. So now we're going to move on to the detail painting. And with detail painting, all I do is just use acrylic paint from Walmart. And here, you'll see me, I'm dipping into just a little bit of water. And I'll knock off the excess water. And I'm going to start with the teeth. Now, when you do your teeth, don't paint them pure white. Because pure white just screams, this is a cheap Halloween mask. So mix a little bit of yellow. It just kind of gives your teeth... A more realistic effect, if you will. And again, this is the fun part of the project, so just take your time. Enjoy yourself. Really look at your reference pictures. And don't rush the process. So now you're going to start seeing me where I go in and start working on the ridge areas. So I just use a little bit of white, a little bit of orange, and I just start hitting the high spots, mostly on the ridges. Now here's a tip for everybody. Don't spend a lot of time in one area on your mask, because it's just going to look muddy. Acrylic paint will dry fairly quickly. So if you work 
the whole mask as you'll see me do by the time you come back to your front of your mask after you've hit the back and around the sides that paint will be mostly dry and you can get a much better effect so I switched from the detail brush to a sponge brush just to make some of the bigger areas a lot easier to do. And again, take your time. Have fun with this. But always look at your reference pictures. So here I just kind of started making the colors a little bit brighter, especially on the ridge areas. And just build it up gradually. And again, always take my advice and don't spend a lot of time in one area. So here I'm starting to mix in a little bit of the red with the orange. And again, I'm just building up the areas gradually. Because when you look at a clicker, especially you can see here once I'm done, see how the ridge areas have kind of a brighter color. And again, I just really liked how the colors pop on this. So here's the finished mask, and you'll see me try it on. I thought this came out really, really well. I was very happy with how it came out. And there you have it, the completed clicker. I hope you guys enjoyed this project as much as I did. And I hope you really try to make one yourself. Appreciate all you guys. Appreciate all the new subscribers. And there's more projects coming. Thanks for watching.